हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू स्वीटी स्पीक्स ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैड टॉक्ड अबाउट एरे लोकेटर मेथड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डेमोन्स्ट्रेट अ कोडिंग एग्जांपल ऑफ दोज मेथड्स लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड द कोड आई हैव अ मॉड्यूल कॉल्ड एज एरे लोकेटर मेथड्स इन दिस आई एम डिक्लेरिंग एन अनपैक्ड एरे कैन यू टेल मी विच टाइप ऑफ अनपैक्ड एरे इज दिस See, there are four types of unpacked array. Fixed size. It's definitely not fixed size because you have not told the size. Second one was dynamic. What was uh, inside dynamic that you give an empty uh, uh, value of the size? So here you have given empty value of size. So this is actually a dynamic array. So it is a type of unpacked array. uh so we have declared the array a dynamic array and i have initialized value to this array these are the elements inside my dynamic array now i am taking a queue uh in queue you use this dollar sign for size so i have taken a queue in which i am going to store my results now let's do one thing Uh, let's create a function print results which will print the elements inside your queue because you are storing the result inside this queue okay so since i need to print this result again and again i am better creating a function and i'll call this function whenever i want to see the result then i have the initial begin end block in which we have all the different kind of methods let's see them one by one so uh, these methods were broadly categorized into two types one was with mandatory with clause and other had optional with clause let's see ones with mandatory with clause first the first thing which you have is find which will find the element where the element value is greater than 4 then i have find index so here i am finding the index of elements which are greater than 4 find first i am finding the element first element with value greater than 4 find first index i am finding the index of first element with value greater than 4 find last it is used to find last element with value greater than 4 find last index it is used to find the index of last element with value greater than 4 after that we have the methods with optional with clause first is minimum minimum will locate the element with minimum value max will locate element with maximum value unique will print unique element so if there are some values which are repeating it will print that only one time and unique index will print the index of those unique elements let's run this code and then we'll analyze the result i have run it okay let's analyze the result one by one okay, let's go up okay this is the first result so which are items greater than 4 if you see uh, there is 9 9 it has displayed then there was 8 and there was 9 and there was 7 these elements uh, after that i want to print the index of these elements so 9 it has index 3 8 if you check it will have index 8 similarly 9 will have index 10 and 7 will have index 11 i want to find only first element which is greater than 4 so that was 9 index of first element greater than 4 was 3 last element greater than 4 was 7 index of last element greater than 4 was 11 so these are the methods which have mandatory with clause now once with optional with clause we'll analyze min it was supposed to uh, tell you the minimum value inside the array what is the minimum value here you can see it is zero so it has displayed zero then we had max it was supposed to display the maximum element so if we see what is the maximum element it is 9 so it has displayed 9 unique 
uh, unique element means even if some elements are repeating multiple time it will display only once so here you see there are some elements which are repeating multiple times like one if you see it is repeating year 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 three times but if you see here it has displayed only once similarly i can see nine repeating twice but here it is displayed only once and index of unique elements it displays index of all these elements but only unique so if some value was repetitive it will display index of only one value okay now with this example it is very clear how this array locator methods work please understand the uh, lecture where we have described array locator methods understand this coding example and then try to execute this example coded by yourself to stay tuned to such videos please subscribe to sweetie speaks official youtube channel thank you